Hi everyone, it's Miss Clark. So what we're learning about today is we're learning about mandalas. In the video you just watched, it was a time lapse created by an artist named Jamie Locke as she creates a mandala. Now, Jamie Locke, a little bit about her, is an American artist and the video showed her working in her studio, her art studio, over in Indianapolis. What she likes to do is create hand carvings of mandalas. She likes to use wood, metal, glass, and leather when she creates it. Now we're not gonna be doing carvings today just like her, but we are gonna be creating a mandala inspired by her. Now, a mandala, what is it you say? It's a design that's in the shape of a circle. So the word itself, mandala, is Sanskrit for circle. So it's a type of language, it means circle. And when you're doing it, you wanna make sure you have multiple lines of symmetry or balance. And that brings us to our third word. Balance is when, well, think about balance. You know how when you think about balance, you think about standing on one foot, or moving side to side, trying to hold yourself up. Or maybe you'll think about the weight when it's like weighing two objects. That's not quite balance when we talk about art, but it's similar. You're using the visual balance. So how it looks, the placement of the objects. So maybe you're having it having the placement in the center, making sure you're exactly in the middle or having more to one side or more to another side. That's balance. Um, we're thinking about the visual weight. All right, so today, Jamie Locke is gonna be our artist. Our second word is going to be mandala, which I'll be showing you guys some examples and how we'll be creating that today. And your third keyword is balance. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the three different types of balance and which one we'll be using to make our mandalas inspired by the artist, Jamie Locke, today. The first type of balance is symmetrical balance. This is when you draw a line down the middle and it's a mirrored image on either side. The second type is asymmetrical. This is different than symmetrical because instead of being the same, it's different on either side. So it doesn't have to have that same mirrored image. This can be seen in paintings such as Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh, where both sides are different, but it still holds a visual weight in the painting. The third type is going to be radial symmetry. This is when it starts in the middle and it works its way out and has multiple lines of symmetry going through the mandala. Today, you are gonna be creating your own digital mandala using a mandala creator. We're gonna do this to practice creating balance through radial symmetry in a work of art. Okay, so now that you guys have talked about the art terms of balance and mandalas, and we've learned about the artist, Jamie Locke, and looked at some of her artwork, I'm gonna show you guys how to complete your assignment. Now, when you go to the assignment page, the first thing it's gonna say is this week, we will be learning to create balance using radial symmetry in a work of art. Okay, these are the keywords we were talking about. Balance is that principal design. Radial symmetry is the type that we're using. I will know I have it when I have created a digital mandala inspired by the artist Jamie Locke. So that's the artist we looked at. Mandala is what we were talking about, where it starts in the middle, works its way out. And digital means we're using the computer. So using the computer, starting in the middle, multiple lines of symmetry, inspired by this artist. Okay, next it's gonna say, watch this intro video. It's the video you're watching right now. That's why there's no link. Then it's gonna say, once you have learned about the different types of balance of mandalas, click the link below that says Mandala Creator, so that's this one right here, to complete the assignment. Remember to take a screenshot of your design when you are done. This is very important. We gotta remember to take a screenshot. Okay, so then it says to click the Google form to turn it in, so we know that this is where we're gonna go to create it, this is where we're gonna go to turn it in. So let's go ahead and get started. Click here. Where this takes you is to a Mandala Creator, so it's like a website. And in this form, what it has is if you look closely, there's different keys and different buttons and stuff you guys can use to create your design. The most important is the top where it says slides, sides, sorry. Um, sides tells you how many lines of symmetry it's gonna have for your design. So I know it's hard to see, but if you look super, super closely, you'll see these super faint gray lines going through your artwork. It's like cutting multiple ways through, multiple lines of symmetry. What this does is whenever you create something inside of one of those lines, it repeats it in all the other areas, all the way around. So it just mirrors whatever you create in this little slither into this one and this one and this one and this one all the way around. See, just like that. 
All right, the next thing you wanna make sure you have on is the mirror, meaning it's copying in all the different areas. And you wanna make sure you keep those guides on so you guys can see those lines of symmetry. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the top. You guys get to choose whichever color you want. There's ones over here where you guys can click the color and then you can click the value that you want. Make sure you always press okay. Next, you're gonna take that color, go ahead, start in the middle, and to create your mandala, you're just gonna click down and drag it and move it around to create the design. See how easy that is? Once you're done with one color, you guys can always go up, choose another color, choose which value you want, press the OK, and keep going. It's that simple. It creates that mirrored image in all different sections to help us create balance as we design our very own mandala. All right, once you guys are done, you guys can go ahead and actually take some time, decide which one you want. If you ever wanna clear it or experiment with different sizes or how light or how dark a color is, you can. But once you've chosen your design, you guys are gonna to need to take a screenshot. Now, to take a screenshot, you might need to go into Google and Google how to take a screenshot. And that's okay. Now for my computer, because each computer is a little different, I put shift command and then the number four. And it gives me, where is it? Right here, if you can see it on the blue. It gives me like a little plus sign with the little numbers next to it. Now it's up here. That's what mine does. You go ahead, go to the corner of your artwork, click down, hold that click and drag all the way across to take a screenshot. Then I'm gonna let go. It makes a little noise letting me know that it took the picture and then it saves my picture onto my desktop. So here it is. There's my screenshot. Now if you want to go in and change the name of your screenshot, you guys can always go in and be like, this is my mandala and then write your name. That did not work. There we go. Boom, I have it titled. Next, what I'm going to do to go ahead and turn this picture in because I have my screenshot. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of my Mandala Creator. I'm going to go back to my assignment. I'm going to go click on the Google Form. Now, in the Google Form, it's going to say the same thing. You're going to go that you need to watch the video, you need to create the activity, and then you need to upload your screenshots. We have our screenshot, now we're going to upload it. You're going to go down right here where it says upload a screenshot of your design. Click add file. Mine's on my desktop, so I'm going to click on my device. Go to my desktop. I'm going to go down until I find it, and there it is, Mandela Denise Clark. Click that. There we go. Click the upload. And that's how you create your assignment and add it into the Google Form. Once you're done, there's going to be two questions down below. The first one is what type of balance did you use to create your design? If you think back, we used radial symmetry. The next one it's going to say is which Sanskrit word define the word mandala? So what does that word mandala mean? Is it triangle, a square, or a circle? It means circle. Then you go through and you're going to press submit. And then you're done.